guys, it's April 10th and it is time to leave the cabins that we were staying in. We had a wonderful zero day here. And uh, it, was, it was an awesome two nights in the um, cabin. Um, comfortable bed, wonderful staff. I mean, it was beautiful here. Um, so it's time to move on and we're gonna head down the road and, and try to find a ride. Okay, so we are gonna walk down the road and we might have to walk all the way back to Woody Gap. That would be like around eight miles. And if that happens, then we are gonna stay at the Woody, Woody's Gap um, campground overnight. And then we'll start um, our 11 mile trek tomorrow. But if we end up finding a ride, then we can um, start today, possibly. So I'm not sure though. Well, it depends on what time we end up starting the 11 miles because we're not the fastest. <laughs> and I don't want to be walking in, in dark if I don't have to. Luckily, the weather is supposed to be pretty decent um, until Saturday or Sunday. So that's kind of cool. But Ethan, wait for me, honey. But I suggest um, this place called Barefoot Hills um, by Barefoot Luxury. Um, wonderful, wonderful cabins, wonderful hostel here, wonderful staff, comfortable, beautiful, wonderful place to stay for a zero or just any kind of vacation or passing through or anything like that. So, um, but we're going to be walking down the road and we'll touch bases All later. Right, we're walking down the road. Go. And, uh, oh, my knee's much better. That's all I have to say. Woo, a little out of breath. Gotta get used to this again. You know? Come on, Ethan. Where is he? There he is. Let's go. I'm gonna walk down the road here and uh, we'll see what happens. Just getting to the campground and then we'll set up camp and we'll start our trek uh, down the Appalachian Trail tomorrow where we left off. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't mind the walk, it's just like, uh, we could have been hiking the 11 miles we needed to hike today over Blood Mountain and stuff. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, I can't help that tomorrow's payday. <laughs> so that's life, you know, it happens. So um, we called a couple churches, no one answered. I was hoping maybe someone could give us a ride. Called the police station. Um, they were not able to give us a ride. We didn't call the emergency. We just called like the, you know, the office. And uh, um, they said, no, you guys can just walk. And I was, I made sure it wasn't illegal to walk down the road. They're like, cause it's a, a small little uh, two lane freeway or whatever. And they're like, no, it's not illegal. Just be careful. And I'm like, okay. So anyway, that's our day today. Walking back to the campground. <laughs> oh, well. So anyway, we'll okay, keep you So posted. we're taking a break now. This vlog is mainly probably going to be us walking to Woody's Gap <laughs> and that's going to consist of our day checking out of the cabin and walking to Woody's Gap Again. because tomorrow's payday and not today and we couldn't afford a taxi. There's Richie putting sunblock on. Ethan's sitting and resting over there. <sighs> I feel like today's wasted but you know it is what it is. You can't, we can't change the situation so there's no sense in getting upset about it. You know, it's just something that happens in life. So at least we get some exercise. <laughs> okay guys, so we had 47 more minutes to get from the cabins back to the place where we started our hike um, a couple days ago or I, the day before yesterday, whenever it was. And, um, a construction worker gave us a ride the rest, rest of the way. It was, it's hot today. It is hot today. And um, it's, I think it's the hottest day we've walked so far, even though we weren't walking on the actual tra trail. So we're gonna try to find um, the nearest camp, camping area and stay, there over, stay here overnight. And then we're gonna continue on the trail in the morning, early in the morning, because we have to do about 10 or 11 miles tomorrow, so. It was really nice of that construction worker to give uh, to give uh, us a ride. It was really nice, so we're really happy about that. <laughs> so um, I guess that's it for now. We'll touch base hey guys, in a little while. So we are headed to what's the campground called? Lance Creek, and um, we're gonna stay there for the night. 
and we are back on the trail. We're really excited. It was not fun hiking on the freeway <laughs> because I felt like we wasted the whole entire day, but we were supposed to go up Blood Mountain today, but we got stuck on the freeway and we couldn't find a ride. <laughs> so um, we're back on the trail though. We're excited and we're going to go set up camp in about a mile or two down the trail. So, all right. We're at Blood Mountain Wilderness right now, Chattahoochee National Forest. And there's another sign here. Let's see what that says. It says Woody's Gap, Neil's Gap, 11.3 miles, Jared's Gap, 5.9, Blood Mountain, 9 miles. Tomorrow we will be hiking 11.3 miles to Neil's Gap. Anyway. Time to move on. Let's go, guys. So we just climbed part of this mountain. I think it's called Big Cedar Mountain, but I'm not sure. I'll find out for sure when we get uh, back to, or to camp. Look at that beautiful view. I know it doesn't show justice in the video, but it is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, guys. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go now. Oh. Hopefully we're almost to camp. Yep, let's go. Okay guys, so we finally made it to our campsite. It uh, seemed like it took forever. Yep. And um, Richie put the tent together like usual. <laughs> I always get like really stiff when I take the backpack off for and then stand around. My body has to get used to the exercise. Like the, this is like a lot of exercise. But anyway, um, I'm relaxing in the tent and um, we ate a couple Snickers. And I had a strawberry candy. Charging my, <coughs> excuse me, charging my phone right now. Um, and uh, just relaxing. I mean, we're exhausted. We, we walked for hours on the highway, or the freeway, or whatever. Not the freeway, the highway. <clears throat> Two-lane highway. And uh, luckily a construction worker offered to take us the rest of the way. With um, driving, it was only like about a four-minute drive. <laughs> but walking, it would have been 47 more minutes. And we were like, oh, thank you so much. We were so happy that um, they offered to take us the rest of the way. Well, it was really nice of him. And... Uh, he gave us a nice cold water to each, so that was nice. Um, and then we hiked. How many? How many uh, miles did we hike, Richie? Here from uh, Woody's Woody's Gap. Maybe three or four. <laughs> <laughs> then we hi hiked probably three or four more miles to the campground here yeah. from Woody's Gap, from where we got dropped off by the construction worker. So, gosh, we probably walked about eight or more miles today. Um, so. Anyway, we're exhausted and we're gonna eat dinner soon. Um, I don't know, do you wanna say anything? Tell how your day was? Uh, it was hot. It was hot today. Very, very hot. Uh, do you miss the cabin? Yeah. I miss TV. Yeah, they had fun watching TV. <coughs> What was the hardest thing today, and what was the, the funnest? The hardest was walking all the way here. From um, Woody's Gap, or from the cabin to the, almost to the Woody's Gap? Yeah. Which one? That was the hardest. Which one? Cabin to... Walking on the highway? Yeah. Yeah, what, what was your funnest experience today? Or the best experience? A car drive. Oh and yeah, getting a ride, huh? The rest mm -hmm. of the way. That was so nice. So, okay, we're gonna go eat dinner and then we will touch base later.